Raphael, you won the active wear champions assignment on making the cut. Uh, it was your second assignment in a row uh, where you were getting praise from the judges. Uh, did that give you confidence doing well in those first two assignments? Yes, I feel very confident because that two assignment was very important. The first assignment for even where I can show my DNA and the DNA from my country, brilliant and colorful. And for the second assignment, I can show my skills on active wear that, that to be true was not my beach but i think i make a, a very good work and i'm so excited to work more with active wear on my future and uh, what inspired you to uh, use mesh uh, as sort of the center of both of those designs always when i start uh, my work the first part of my work is make some research uh, I love to search the story and the DNA to, to, to make uh, more reality for the collection, for my customers. And when I received the, the champion's assignment, the first thing I was to the computer and I read all the champion history. And I read there, they start with Mesh. And for my first look on the runway, I, I want to show uh, something like Mesh because it makes part of the history of champion and for uh, the second my um, uh, accessible look I create something with the heart because I really believe this sport make our hearts beat so strong and my country has very good and strong tradition on the sports like a football and always when the people go to the station uh, the people go to uh, like uh, to uh, to their teams win and to make our hearts uh, beat and I put that big heart with the champion inside to to translate this emotion of the sports this emotion of uh, to to wear an active wear. And uh, tell me about uh, you know the decision to create those those giant bold uh, earrings those champion earrings was crazy because when I saw on the workroom, everybody works uh, with the logo chip from Champion and everybody puts like on the clothes or I don't know, uh, everybody put on the clothes. And I when I saw for the workroom, oh my God, everybody make the same thing. Everybody put the logo for Champions on the clothes. And I want to do something different, make a way, make a wearings of the logo to be different than the other competitors. And uh, what was the experience like uh, collaborating with Champion on that capsule collection after you won? I think until now, I didn't realize this so much. Like, uh, I know this is so big, but I just create uh, that I feel in that moment and I just made uh, something that I love. And I think I will receive... Um, uh, the, 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 the love of uh, how of this and how much I put my love to do that assignment. I think uh, the buyers uh, can can see uh, how I put uh, my soul to make it. And uh, what, what would you say was the hardest part of this challenge? hardest part i think the hardest part of this challenge was i'm not so good as a semesters and uh i design all the clothes i make my partners i make the cuts on the fabric but here in brazil i have my team who works in, uh, as a semesters for me and for me during the show when i arrived there all the participators was a very good semester and I'm not. And when I arrived in the work room, oh my God, everybody's thrilled and I need to start thrilled. And to be true, that um, net dress was my first piece that I uh, swill everything. I swill that dress alone and I won that assignment. It was crazy. <laughs> Um, and, and how uh, stressful is it to, to be in front of the judges and kind of wait to hear what they thought of your looks? Yes, for me, the most insecure moment always was with uh, my language because I'm in a very important competition and it's not my uh, country language. Like, uh, as I 
here in Brazil, as I can explain my clothes for my customers, is different when I explain in other uh, language because you sometimes I don't know some specific words. It was crazy for me and was like a new university, and I learned a lot during this process. And uh, you only started learning English uh, a couple months before you uh, went on the show. And yes, it, your incredible your English is incredible for such a short no. amount of time. It really is for that amount of time. Uh, how deeply did you immerse yourself in English? Like, how did, how did you learn it so fast? Yes, it was crazy because when uh, my subscription was um, accept and they start our uh, casting process this after the the first video was crazy because after that moment I think oh my god that's true I will go to USA I will go to this competition and I need to improve my English so fast I can and I start to see movies and I start to do some uh, classes with uh, my specific teacher to learn some specific words, uh, but it was crazy because at the same time, that moment there was a lot of work to do. It was my first assignment that I make here in Brazil and I uh, take this for the USA to present the first runway. It was crazy that moment. Uh, was like, um, as I told you, new university and then very and different ways on my life and as in the language, but also as a person. And how does the process of designing on the show compare to your usual process of, of designing uh, back home? I think it's the time because there during the show, we have a very short of time to do everything. And also there in the show, we need to show our clothes for a big names of fashion. Like here in my brand, I uh, create something and I, don't have anything to judge. I decide to put that in my collection. That would be on the stars. But during the show, I have a short time, and besides the short time, I need to um, show that for the judges. And to be judged is very uh, difficult thing sometimes. And and how how were you selected for the show? And and what did you you know what was your reaction to actually getting on the show? I'm I'm like shocking. I'm shocking for the first moment, um, and I just will realize that I think when I watch this this series tomorrow, and I'm will see my face on the TV. <laughs> Uh, well, I want to uh, congratulate you on winning uh, the assignment um, and best of luck with that collection, which is going to go on sale, uh, you know, as the episode goes up. So uh, thank you so much for talking with me. Thank you. Thank you so much.